Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest has been the driving force behind some of the biggest companies and business developments and creative strategy. Yes. Here to help you glam up and create success with your own business, please welcome marketing consultant, Will Shelton. Hey, hey Will. Hey. Uh, Thank welcome you for to the circle. <laughs> Okay, so before you created your agency, you were a salon owner and a hairstylist. So exactly. how did you segue from that into being the owner of uh, the entertainment agency, Willpower? Mm -hmm. Well, what happened was I had my own salon for 10 years and clients would come in and they would constantly be asking for movie recommendations. Music is playing in the salon. And you know they're there for like two to four hours At anyway. Least. You know oh, that, yeah, come yeah. on now. Yes. So what happened is I began to realize that each client that would leave, they say, I'm gonna go buy that album that I just heard. I'm gonna go see that movie that you just recommended. So after that, I had an epiphany. I said, you know what? I'm helping these entertainment companies um, promote their projects inadvertently. So I decided to write a proposal to every record label hmm. and every wow. movie studio I could think of. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I said, if I have nothing, I have nothing to lose. Right. So within 30 days, I started getting shipments of free CDs and movie passes to give away to wow. salons. Wow. And I knew I had something right mm -hmm. there. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So you're the first African-American urban salon agency. Why is it so important to pour back into the African-American community? You know why? Because we're an underserved audience mm -hmm. and an underserved consumer. And we have a $1.2 trillion buying power. Mm. And on top of that, we have an insatiable appetite for entertainment. And one of the reasons, other reasons why is because salon owners are trailblazers and innovators in their spaces and they get to become trendsetters with this type of a business. Okay. Yeah. Well, speaking of trendsetting, you know, social media has changed the trajectory of how everyone markets yep. now. So, but how have you seen it evolve in the past 20 wow. years? Wow, you know what? In 20, it didn't even exist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you what a, a secret is. I think that because of the salons and the barbershops, these conversations and these narratives and the gossip was already already going on there. So I think that the salons were the original black Twitter anyway. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, right. You yeah. know, the groundswell of support that you get when you talk about different things and you know, getting movies off the ground and the ratings up, that was already in existence in salons. And now it's just on a different platform because the conversation has to start somewhere yes. and it already yeah. starts in the barbershops and salons. It right. Does. Well, you had this big <laughs> epiphany and most people who want to become entrepreneurs, they need to identify a problem yeah. so then you can create the solution which gives you big bucks. Yep. What do you think are your keys to success and how do people who want to become entrepreneurs find that problem? I think you have to do a little bit of research. Mm -hmm. Look at what's driving the company, what's triggering lower sales, and really be interested in the behind the scenes of the company. And if you can identify a problem and you can solve it, then you can get hired. You, all you have to really be is the answer. If you're the mm -hmm. answer, they're gonna hire you. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. Okay, but you've also said we need to position ourselves. What mm -hmm. does that mean? Well, what you have to do is you have to make yourself unique. Unique is better than being better. You have to differentiate yourself from any other company out there. So what you do is you specialize. You don't generalize, you specialize in something. And that's how you stand out. Yes. You know, people have fear of failure and also yeah. fear of success. Yes. I know exactly. I have experienced yeah. both, and that's probably mm -hmm. one of my biggest obstacles uh -huh. in really creating the life that I want, exactly. obviously. But how do you uh, overcome both? You know what? Successfully. <laughs> you know what? I think that's interesting. I think first you have to understand what fear is. Mm -hmm. Fear is really false evidence appearing real. real yeah. That's all mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. If you can understand that, it, it's really a false barrier that you create in your own mind. And you have to realize that all successful people have it. It's just about having the fear and doing it anyway. Mm -hmm. Well, let me, let, I want to understand this. Mm -hmm. You say that your network is your net worth. Mm -hmm. So how do you build and maintain mutually beneficial relationships? I think that you have to be more interested than interesting. You have to be interested in that person, in who you wanna partner with. And you have to be willing to think about adding value 
to that partner, to that network, and, and that's how you do that. Yeah, yeah. okay. Uh, I remember my um, general manager from Radio uh -huh. One, Wayne Brown, t gave me the greatest piece of advice. He uh -huh. said, whatever you do in this business, don't get lost. What the, mm -hmm. What's the best piece of advice you've ever received, and how do you implement mm -hmm. that in your life today? I have a couple. I think that you should never limit your point of entry in life and in business, meaning that you may not have a degree, you may think you're too old or too young, but don't you that's not your path. So don't limit your point of entry into that. The second piece of advice is go after your dreams as if your life depends on it because the life that you want does depend yes, on it. Yes, that right. is it. Come on, Will, you better yeah. come with the word. <laughs> we on. definitely appreciate you. Uh -huh. uh, for more information, please go to his Instagram at will underscore power underscore E N T. And that is Will with one L. Thank you so much, Will. All we right. appreciate You're your welcome. time today.